Warning. The following program may contain foul fucking language, gory ass shit, or the occasional slow point because I can be a lazy fuck with editing. Viewer discretion is potentially advised, but also probably rejected. Greetings from the land of OP! I am Rob the OP Gamer, and I am bringing you- oh my god, an Enderman. That's what I'm bringing you this episode. Actually, no, he's gone. I am bringing you episode 6 of my Ultra Hardcore Let's Play series, where I am being a dumbass and playing not only in Hardcore, but in Ultra Hardcore, where I do not regenerate health from being full on Hunger Bar. Yeah, yeah. Episode 6 I'm really looking forward to because... Thomcraft! Woo! I have mapped out everything where I want to put my stuff in here. I'm going to put my thingy majiggy here that you melt things in over here with my Olympics on the wall. I'm going to put my jars all the way along this wall and all the way along that wall. If anybody saw my attempt number one of Ultra Hardcore Series, this is attempt two, I forgot to mention. If anybody saw attempt number one, I died horribly, and this is what I was setting up, and I never actually got to do it, so this is what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, thing majig is going to go here where I'm going to put stuff. Crucible, I think is the word for it. Uh, yeah, that kind of thing. Also, my ender quarry has been running this whole time. You can still see it up there. You can still see it on the map. You can also see that it has been working its ass off. I think it starts with one chunk, like it goes chunk here, then this chunk, and then this chunk, and then it goes chunks, and then it starts back over here and goes chunks, and then over here and goes chunks. And I've left this, I left this thing running as a server. I went to escape and clicked open to LAN, which lets it run even when you press escape. It doesn't actually pause it as if it was a real server. And then I just sat here in my base and let it run for four days. <laughs> And that's as far as it got. You can tell that's as far as it got, because if you look really close, you got to squint. You can see this beach line, how the beach line starts up here, and it goes clear down the coast and broken sand bits. Yeah, look at all this, like, the, the sand stopped here, but there was sand here, and the sand went all the way down over here and all the way up the coastline over here to connect to this sand. And now it's dirt. Uh, the under quarry replaces things with dirt, and as you can see, it is now a grass hill. So, but there's still some sand down here it hasn't gotten to. So I can tell it hasn't gone down here at all because you can see it's replacing it with regular dirt and the, um, the biome, Origin Valley, makes really bright green dirt and this is regular dirt getting mixed in. So that's a thing that's happening. But despite the fact that it hasn't gotten very far, let me show you guys this really quick. Despite the fact that it hasn't gotten very far, it is still working away. I think. Yep, there it goes. Still working away, still sending things down the line. I've gotten quite a few exciting things. This, by the way, is a secret door. It's not Basalt Brick from Project Red, it's actually a secret door. I'll actually show you guys that really quick here. It is from the Secret Rooms mod, and they are awesome. This is a secret wooden door. You just take a regular wooden door and a camouflage paste, which is just one dirt and eight of any kind of dye. I just used ink sacks because that's what I had. And it gives you nine of those bad boys. I think you can use sand too. Yep, sand and clay will all work for that paste, and it gives you just a wooden door that's camouflaged to look like any block. When you place it down, it mimics whatever block you place it on, so it's mimicking this basalt brick right here. Got another one right there where I hid my infinite water source, just because it looked a little better like that in my opinion. So that's how I'm going to get back here behind the wall. I had to add a few of these fuckers because I was getting a lot of shit in my overflow chest that I wanted to keep and not trash. The overflow chest is down here, and I've gotten some pretty awesome- OH MY GOD AN INFINITY ORB! Sweet! I'm going to eat that right the fuck now, nom! One blue skill point, sweet. That wasn't there last time, it looked awesome. I got a division sigil out of a dungeon chest. Look, you can see it's taken apart a couple dungeons. I got plenty of mossy stone, some extra fence, some extra track, eight copper gravel ore. That should go in my ore's chest. I should put that in there right now. Crafting tables, uh, basalt bricks. I don't know where those came from. Where did mine basalt bricks from? That's kind of weird. But I got a division sigil, so expect good things in the future. Aw, yeah. So that's the, th the thing with that. And it's gotten me a couple of ender pearls and shit too. I don't know where the ender pearls are coming from. I'm assuming the, the uh, dungeon chest. But as you can see, I've kept up on my farm a little bit, not a whole lot. I don't need tons of those, so I'm just letting those things rock and roll as they go. So yeah, we're gonna get into Thomcraft today. Oh, let me show you guys how many shit, I, how much shit I have. Look at this. I have 364 diamonds. I actually have 428 diamonds. It's just that it doesn't count this stack right here. So I've got over a thousand gold. I've got over, I've got over 2,000 silver, uh, 11,000 iron, <laughs> almost 5,000 copper and tin. I've got all kinds of shit, and it's only this far done. Holy balls. 
So I've got almost two billion cobblestone. <laughs> Ah, when this runs out, it's filtered behind this chest, so it won't go in the overflow chest. It'll get trashed, so no worries about that. Got 20,000 sand and gravel and 10,000 sand. Uh, oh, 20,000 dirt, 28,000 gravel, and uh, 10,000 sand. I don't know why it's giving me dirt if it's just replacing the dirt. It replaces the dirt with the dirt. It's Dirtception! So yeah, Thomcraft. Got all kinds of shit going. Just wanted to show you guys. Got to get some resources. I got so much good resources going on that I actually went and uh, upgraded this guy from gold blocks to diamond blocks. He was already full when I did it on magic, but so I don't know why I did, but it didn't really bother me. Also spent some time in the uh, nether. Why is my A M U I C F G? Why is this all thrown off? That's kind of weird. You need to go up there, sir. There we go. Anyway, so, I spent some time in the nether as well, and mining up a few different things. One of my mind was sent some blocks. Oh yeah. This is the absolute maximum tiered of stuff you can do for this crafting altar. Sunstone blocks, and uh, neither quartz or neither brick blocks. So this is the highest tier of this, this is the highest tier of that. Makes me happy! In the nerd pants. So yeah, Thumbcraft. Said that a couple times now. I set myself up a spruce desk. So I can look in my Thomicon. I haven't actually researched anything yet. I just wanted to show you guys how the research works. Because I spent my ass... Spent a lot of time going through here. And making a lot of shit. So what happened was... Um, after you discover all the elements... Or aspects, rather. Once you've discovered all the aspects... Um, you can then go through and start scanning shit. So I took my Thomometer. There she be, doink. And I started scanning everything. All the things forever. You can see that I've scanned all this stuff. Um, I upgraded my hell furnaces, those are pretty cool. I have a lot of shit on them too. Uh, scan those guys. Did I scan a label? I scanned a label. Scanned my chest. Scanned... You scan all the things forever that you can find to scan. Uh, nothing can be learned from that apparently. Uh, barrels all scanned. Yep, so I just ran around scanning shit forever and ever. Now we have a good amount of, uh, resources. And by resources, I mean aspects to draw off of for research. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, and the first thing I want to research is... Uh, not here? Oh, I need these. These are important. These are no tapping researches. I need to get those. Oh, uh, that's wand. That's thaumaturgy alchemy. There we go. So I already have the crucible. So let's make us a crucible. You just make a cauldron and smack it with your wand. Wand. Doink. Let's go get seven iron really quick. Do 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 do. There we go. We'll make us an iron, and there's a cauldron. I'm gonna grab a nether rack as well. And where's my flint and steel? Where is she? Nella. Oh, I emptied my chest and scanned everything in here too, guys. BT dubs. Uh, oh, I took out one of my furnaces and put a powered furnace just because. Uh, these are the furnace upgrades. These are pretty cool. For the better furnaces mod, you can make these upgrades. Um, this is a advanced fuel efficiency upgrade. This guy doesn't break. The regular fuel efficiency does, but it makes you can cook twice as many things with the same amount of fuel. So uh, it's just four diamonds and a gas tier and eyes of ender which is a blaze powder and an ender pearl around a regular efficiency upgrade which is just four ender pearls and four lapis lazuli blocks and a coal so those guys aren't expensive as well and the advanced ore upgrade you take two pistons two obsidian and four diamonds around a regular one to get the advanced again this guy doesn't break this guy does break takes durability damage over time this guy's just a bunch of stone a flint and a piston piston not hard so, um, this guy lets it so that it basically macerates and cooks at the same time. So you'll get two ore ingots by cooking one ore, as long as you have one of those guys in there. And he's in here, not in a furnace, because that goes to this furnace here. Uh, you can see I've got one in each of these furnaces already. So we're all good there. Um, the four buckets are so that they can run off of liquid fuel instead of just coal. So I could put, like, biogas in there or fuel or whatever, and it would run just fine. I cannot find my goddamned... Shit ass balls hell. What was it? I had a flint and steel around here somewhere, guys. Where did it? Did I? Am I carrying it on me? No. I don't know. Where? Oh my god. Oh well, I'll just make another one. I didn't want to make another one. Maybe I lost it somewhere. I probably set it somewhere and didn't. 
Whatever. It's not like I don't have tons of flint. 3,000. I think I could spare a flint and an iron with my 12,000 iron. By the grace of God, I think we'll be okay. So we're going to come over here, and I am going to go directly under here. Well, hmm. Maybe under here. That will be off center for the ceiling, but on center for the wall. So I'm okay with it. I'm um, just going to go down here. I don't know why I picked that up. And we're going to go doink. And that's going to give us an infinite heat source. And we are going to go boink. And now it's a crucible. Oh, yeah. Uh, now I'm going to get my aqueous that I'm not using anymore. Put that away. And we'll put that away. And we'll put this guy in here. Uh, aqueous. Aqueous. Igneous. There's the aqueous. Uh, the aqueous and the igneous I was using for obsidian, I just put away. Because this guy was over here somehow in some fashion. It just didn't end up working out. So I was like, whatever. Put him away. It's not like 18 stacks of obsidian is going to run out on me anytime soon. I'm not exactly using the obsidian for anything anyway. So it's not a big deal. So I'm going to get over here. And where's my buckets? My buckets. Gotta get some buckets. And I'm just going to grab out of my infinite water source hidden in my wall in my secret rooms fashion. Doink, da doink, doink. And we're going to come over here, and I'm going to get back behind this guy. And you know what? It occurs to me this would probably have been a smart thing to do back when I didn't have fire. Oh, shit, that's my smeltery. Ha! Huh, I just dug into my smeltery. Oh, well, it's cool. It's cool! And we are going to give it one of these. And we are going to give it one of these. And we're going to put a water there. And a water here. And that'll be good. And we're going to put this away. And we're going to take our smeltery bricks and we're going to put them back. Oh shit, where'd they go? Did I just... What happened? Where did my... Where the fuck did my... Rage. Oh well, I'll just make two more. I should have some more seared bricks in here. I always cook up way too many. Do I have, do I have seared bricks? No! Oh, shit. Don't do this to me, game. Fuck me. Damn it! Son of a bitch! Hang on, guys. I gotta go cook up some more shit for my smelter. Go fuck. This thing cooks up pretty quick, as you can see. I love hell furnaces. They make me happy in the pants. And yes, I'm wasting fuel. Oh, well. Big, big fucking deal. So I'm going to grab over here, and we are going to put these smeltery bricks back. Doink, doink. Now our smeltery is back in business, and I'm going to take a fluid dirt. But wow! And now we have automatic constant water for the crucible. Hello! Nice, okay. And then we're going to put these bricks back. Doink, doink, and over there. Bow. And now we can't even see it! So beautiful! Oh, it makes me happy! Okay. We're going to come over here and put these away. Oh! So now we have a crucible, and what I'm going to do is we're going to make us a night tour, because I like that better. And just to show you guys off, uh, I've set this to the easy way of doing this in the config option, because I hate playing the minigame. Normally when you go to research something, there's a fucking minigame, and you got to click elements and make writing stuff in the table. Here you go. You like... You click what you want, you come in here, and you click one of these. Let's say you wanted Nitor, you'd click it, and it would give you research notes for it in your inventory. Then you put the research notes up here in this square, and it would come up a little mini-game over here, and you would use your elements, and you'd click on this stuff, and go clickety, clickety, clickety. And it would use up your research points, and it would be fucking weird. And I hate the mini-game, it's tedious, I hate it, oh, rage! So I'm not going to do it. I have set it to the easy mode way of doing things, and all it is is a purchase system. As long as you have the research, you can just click it and learn it. Dink! Ha! Ah, research completed, Nitor! So now we get a glowstone, and we get a three Ignis, three Lux, and three Potentia, and a glowstone. I'm not going to do three, because that's a very odd number of doing things, because most things don't have one on them. So I'm going to go over here. We're just going to make two Nitor really quick. I'm going to show you guys how this works. Two Nitor, bam. And then we're going to get uh, two coal. Yes. Aha! Two, four, six. Actually, we're going to get three coal. Uh, three coal is going to have... One coal has two Potentia and two Ignis... And we need Lux, which is going to be torches. Ah, so we're going to do six. Uh, we're going to do six of each aspect because that'll be two of those guys. So as you can see, it shows you right here. You need three Ignis, three Lux, and three Potentia. So two coal is going to give you six, and six, and then six torches will give you six. And you toss in two of the catalyst. This shows you you're tossing it into the crucible. That's what the arrow means. And once you get that going, then it's uh, you toss the stuff that you want to make first. 
you toss in the aspects you're using first, and then you toss in the catalyst. So first you go coal, blue, and then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, and you go blue, and then you toss in the glowstone. Oh my god, instead you pick up the glowstone because you didn't toss it very good. There we go, bow. To Nitor! And that's how that works, and because we have infinite water, it's going to just fill itself back up, and I am going to be a dumbass. Nice. Hang on. I'll dig out this brick instead. That's going to take a second. Actually, this pick is pretty quick. It won't take that long. So, now I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to... Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. We need this brick, and I don't know why I had this out. And I'm going to grab my dirt back. Dirt! Because I haven't dug out a basement yet. You'd think I'd have dug out a basement by now, but I just haven't. Whatever, who cares. So, we're going to take that out of there. We're going to put our dirt back. And I'm going to take my nitro. We're going to go boink! And that is the same as a flame source. If you look inside the Thomicon, it tells you it's, a un, it's an un... What does it say? Non-heated flame source? Or non-flame non heat source? Uh, this flame seems to be fueled by magic itself and never used for, this, for an ever-burning flame seems endless, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to produce much much more light than heat, though it could prove to be a steady source of light and energy. Nitor can also be placed in the world to act as a magical light source. So it burns like a torch. If you stick it up like on your ceiling or on your wall or something, it'll just stay there. You can punch it and pop it back out. No big deal. Um, this stuff is actually pretty cool because, as it says, it acts like a light source. Um... But it also acts as a heat source, so it keeps the cauldron burning forever, and no fire, so you can't, you can't like, touch it and get hurt by it. I'll just demonstrate that really quick, because why not, boink. Oh, ow, ow, oh my god, ow, 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 ow. Actually, it's not doing anything. So, we're going to put it back up here, because I don't have anywhere else to do with it right now. Because I made two, because I didn't want extra aspects. I don't like leaking aspects, if I can help it. Um, so, yeah. I probably should have made one, but who cares. So, I'm going to stick that away. Next one I want to make is a pair of goggles of revealing. Because I needs me some goggles. So we're going to go down to Artifice, and they're right here. Bow. It takes five Senses, five Orum, and five Percantio. So I don't have the five Orum. You can see it's blinking there. It says, you do not have the required research point aspects to purchase this. Oh, snap. Need five of those Orums. So we're going to come over here, and I'm going to show you guys how to combine this stuff really quick so you can get five Orum. Let me just pull up really quick my aspect cheat, li cheat list. Cheat sheet. Cheat. Shib dib dib dib. I think. Where is my fucking damn... There we go. Okay. Calm down, Rob. Ooh, ooh. Okay, all good. Oh, uh, Minecraft forums. There we go. Yes, I looked this shit up because I'm a dumbass, and I don't like to not have stuff at my fingertips at all times. As you can tell, I'm a little excitable occasionally. Uh, Orem is a... Third tier aspect? Yes, takes... Percantio and air, and so Percantio. How much Percantio do I have? Uh, 55. By the grace of God, I think we'll be okay. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna go to doink, to doink, to doink, to doink, to doink. Research asking for Orum. You can't see that over my. Uh... Oh yeah, it came up a little bit over the banner there. Okay, we're good. So now we have five Orum. You can see now it doesn't say that you can't do it. it says click to purchase doink. Oh my God, goggles. So it takes two leather. Two gold and two thalmometers. Yeah. So, um... I have thalmometers ready. And I gotta go find my wand. Oh, I have my wand. We're good. So, a couple of leather. I did some wand research off camera because I needed the wand. I did not want to go without a wand. So, let's go in here really quick. Uh, leather? Four leather, I think. Did it say four leather? Shit. I know it said two gold. Doink. Do 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 So I was prepared for this part because I needed goggles. Bop bop. Because these are pretty easy to make. It's just a gold and some glass. And we need five of each. We just stick our wand in there and bow oh, goggles! Oh yes, I love goggles! Goggles! Oh my god, sweet! Now we can look at things. And we can see things. Yeah yeah. Oh, there's an Orno way over there. See that? That's one of the Ornos I was tapping for my for my, uh, there's another one over there, I think. Maybe? No. I don't remember where they all are. I have to go find them again. I need to, I need to move auras and make a fucking aura wall somewhere. Okay, so... Whoa! Okay, enough of that. Um, I want to get some artifice going. Um, and by artifice, I mean 
uh, one of these guys. So this is next, and then infusion crafting, and I will be back. I'm not going to go much past doing the stuff I've already done with the wands, because I'm okay with that for the time being. I just, as you can say, I got my great wood core and my gold wand capped already. That was already a thing. Um, a few minutes ago, the screen flashed by, and it didn't have everything updated properly. I'm not sure what the deal with that was. I just tried to learn a bunch of shit, and my game crashed. And when I came back, everything looked good. So I'm not really sure what the deal with that was. That was kind of fucking weird. But I'm not going to go anywhere else with the wand course for the time being. Um, I need to get in here and get the... Oh, I could do it right now, but I'll do it later. Whatever. Well, actually, wait. Where's the silver... Ooh, I could do silver wood right now! Yeah, fuck it. We'll do silver wood. Dope. Shit! What am I... Oh, Percantio. That's easy. Uh, vacuous and air, I believe. Vacuous! I have a shit ton of vacuous. Um, and, oh, Potentia. Where's Potentia? Doink, da doink, da doink, da doink, da doink. That has. Nice! Okay. So I will make a silverwood wand cap off camera, probably. Um, doop a doop 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 doo. Actually, wait, I think that requires. Oh, yeah, she requires infusion. Fuck you! Okay, anyway. We'll get to infusion here in a minute, and I went through and I got Alimentum and Nitor. Both these were required to get to Essentia Distillation, so I got that. I don't know why I got that, I'm not going to be using that. Uh, Word of Jars, and I got Void Jars because I'll probably need them later. And you can see I got down to Magic Runic Armor, I want it so bad! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Um, I need more magic-y stuff. So let's grab some more of that. Doot, 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 doot. There we go, and there we go. Doot, 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 doot. I got nine of them now. That was way too many. Come in! Oh, sweet. Now I need Orem and magic. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to burn up all my potential, guys. Just so you know. It's okay, though, because you can combine shit. So I'm going to get the runic armor, and this is magical storage. Enchanting your containers. We might get there at some point. But I need this, because this is runic goggles of revealing. Because you can take your goggles and your runic armor research, and you can combine them with goggles. And I want to make feet. Oh, can I get feet? Oh, I can get feet! Fucking sweet! And I can get the runic... So you can get the Boots the Traveler, and then the runic Boots the Traveler. You can do the same with your goggles. You can be armored as shit. That's what we're trying to do right now. Um, I already got Infusion a while back. Or off-camera, rather. I clicked that button. That was a good button to click. We're gonna be doing that in a minute here. So, I want to get this. Um, I need... Eight... Wait. Okay, so I need five. Let's see, eight, thirteen. Uh, don't need any for that. So I need thirteen Percantio right now, and I need... Three more Orem. So I need 16 for Cantio, so let's go get that really quick. I have four right now, I need 16, so I need, what, 12 more? Where's the vacuous? There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, it just shows me how many I have right there. Oh, one, ah, oh, shit, I clicked one too many times. Who cares? Okay, um, Orem is going to be that guy and that guy. 1, 2, 3? Did it want 3 or 5? I don't remember. Oh, three. Sweet! Sweet! Oh, shit. What? No. Oh, the armor thingamajiggy. Fuck! Okay, I need five... I need ten armor thingamajiggies. What are those called? I never remember those. I have three of them. Two to men! Oh, yeah. I always forget that, but it sounds like some ancient Egyptian, like, Oh, uncommon! Two to men. Two to men. And then we raise the mummy. And then he wrecks havoc. Because... Why not wreck havoc? Tulis and Terra. Shoot. How much tools do I have? Oh, God. Eight. How many of those did I need? I don't even remember now. I'm so excited. Five, ten. And I have one, three. So I need seven more. Uh, where's my tools? I lost it already. So I only need seven more, so I have eight. Sweet. And Terra. Terra, Terra, Terra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice! We have ten! And then I need a feather for that guy. We're gonna click that right now. Runic armor upgrades! Fuck yes! Shields to maximum! Okay. Uh, runic boots of the Traveler. Do not have... Need the feathery thingy. What's the feathery thingy? I can never remember any of these aspects. Uh, air and modus. Air. Oh, I'm so low on air! I have nine air! Shit! How many feathers do I have? Do I have any feathers at all? I have four feathers. Oh, I need one feather. Nice. No, not you. Feather. Sweet. Click. Oh, so good. Oh, that makes me so happy. So here's this. Here's how this works, guys. 
Your research into protective magics has led you to discover runic armor. The name is misleading, though, since it is not armor in the traditional sense, but a collection of charms, seals, and similar protective devices worn with your everyday clothes. These protective devices create a barrier of magical energy that ward out most types of damage. The armor has a put pool of hit points from which damage is subtracted first, protecting the wearer from all harm. Once this pool is depleted, the wearer starts taking damage to normal. The pool replenishes over time, but even when depleted, the armor offers protection roughly equivalent to that of leather armor. The armor offers no protection from damage suffered due to drowning, starvation, or similar environmental hazards. Due to its nature, the armor cannot be enchanted by normal means, but you are assured there are ways to improve the effectiveness. You just need to discover them. Oh, yeah. So it's an infusion thing. And that is a lot of shit to infuse. Is that like a combination with Ars Magica? Is that what's going on right here? Sal Salus Mundus. How do you get that? I don't even remember how to get that. I have to go look that up. Okay, so first we need to take one step at a time. One step at a time. Uh, we need to make ourselves a one of these things. Furnace and a crucible and some stone. Uh, stone. One shard and some stone. So let's cook, cook up some stone, guys. Some stone. That gets nine. One recipe gets nine. Um, let's say... Let's see. Four recipes. What will it be? What? 36? Five, six. We'll make six recipes. Six times eight. Let's just get a stack of stone. I think that'll be good. Let's look at some cobble. It's not like I can... It's not like I'm short on cobble. Um, we'll just split this into two stacks. That'll cook up pretty quick. These, these guys... These bad boys are really awesome. Da bow, da bow, da bow, da bow. I love it so much. Yes. Okay, I need. Uh, stack's gonna be eight. How much? What's the most shards? That's 691. Fire's the most. Oh, water's the most at 810. Terra, 1700. We have a winner! It doesn't matter which one you use. Just pick whichever you have most of. And then you'll be good to go. And let's grab our stone out of here. And our stone out of here. And I don't remember if this requires infusion crafting or not. Um, it probably does, because everything does with this kind of thing. Whoop. Whoop. Shit. Fail. Kick on the damn thing, monster. Thank you. Okay, so, we need a furnace as well. Furnace. And there's that. And we need a, another cauldron crucible majig. Thing me, you be. Uh, one, two, three, four. I was counting how many I was putting back right there, in case you didn't notice that. Oh, uh, fuck. There we go. Doink. Oh, wand is in here. Wand. Doink. Eh. There we go. Crucible. Furnace. Ah. Oh. Ah, uh, 4.7, because I have a discount for my wand and my, glog and my gloggles. And my gloggles! Alchemical furnace, bitches! Oh, yeah! Snap! Right here. Doink. Nice! This is how we cook up shit. I'll show you cooking up shit in a second here. I'm gonna get some charcoal. Do I have how much? I don't have any logs, do I? Oh, I got shit tons of coal, though. How much coal? Uh, I think I can spare some coal. I was cooking up charcoal before because I was low on coal, but this thing's been... Doing awesome. There we go. So we got coal in the furnace, and we need some of these guys. Uh, silver wood and two gold makes you one of these. And then that guy, and another gold and some iron and a bucket makes you one of these. So we're going to need three buckets. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen iron. Uh, three buckets. And fifteen iron. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24 iron. And then three gold. Six gold. I already have the gold. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we need a bunch of iron. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. I'm just going to cook up a stack of iron because I don't even give a fuck. No fucks are given! So you can see it doubles at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 because of this because this advanced ore processing upgrade that I was talking about earlier. Sweet! Um, I should have probably pulverized it because of the fact that you get a chance to get some ferrous out of that. But this is YouTube's so and nobody wants to wait for that. Ain't nobody got time for that anymore. Which is one of the reasons I use those furnaces actually. It's not that big of a mod from what I understand, but whatever. Three buckets. 
One, two, three. Hey, give me the fucking buckets. Uh, and I got one of these, took one of those apart a while ago. That was where I died last attempt, BT dubs. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, I need three more gold. I miscounted the gold that I needed. Oh, shit. Oh, well, okay. Uh, one, two, three. And the sun is going down. I can only sleep at night time. There we go. Oh, my God. There we go. So we're going to stick this on here. And that goes there. And that goes there. And that goes there. And we go whoop. Um, maybe it's the other way around. Hmm. What'd I miss? Hero. That guy on that side. That guy on that side. Arcane workbench. What am I missing? Oh! It's iron all the way. So that's like that, and then it's down here. There we go! How's my V's doing in this fucker? Oh, I'm really low on aqua. Shit! I should probably go refill that thing at some point in the very near future. Very near future. And we are going to go badow, badow, badow! Nice! Dong, the Olympic is empty. Dong, dong. I like it. Now we're going to try to make golems. Because guess what, bitches? Oh, let's do the infusion crafting thing first. Um, I don't think I have enough visa in my wand for this. I really, really don't. Uh, it's under artifice. There it is. So, four stone blocks, an ender pearl, and four of any kind of shard, and 40 ordo? Shit, I have 30 something. Well, luckily I've got plenty of ender pearls. One, two, three, four. And one of you, because you're how much I have. And four of those, and that should be good. So let's get the fuck over here and make the fuck one of these. Doink, da doink, da doink, da doink, da doink. And da doink. Whoop. Da. Did I? Hey! Oh, it's shards of one and- oh, shit. Hang on, guys. I have to derp left, right, and center first. Uh, let's get four more shards out of here. One, two, three. There we go. And by four more, of course, I mean three more, because that's kind of what the deal is. Whoop. Insufficient V. 38 ordo. I have 32 ordo. I'm going on an ordo hunt! Burblol! Guys, normally I would have shown a little more of this on camera, but we're running short on time. I just checked the time on the video, and it is long as fuck already. Actually, it's not long as fuck. It's actually right on time. But I got the thing made. Runic Matrix is done, and I made these pedestals, and I'm making some bricks, which is just for these guys in your typical brick shape. Filled up my wand twice. Not once, but twice. It took forever. Pissed me off. Have to make some pedestals, which aren't hard to do. They're part of this infusion recipe as well. Uh, just click once on this target. You'll see that two of these pedestals from one recipe and five RVs get you that. So we're good. So I like to set this up like this. Um, I'm hoping I have enough V in my wand for this, but this is how I like to do things. Um, one of these here, uh, one of these here, and one of these here, and one of these here. And you put one of your pedestals in the center of that guy. And pedestals are pretty cool. You can actually stick stuff on them, which is how the whole thing works. Like if I took my uh, torch here, I could put a torch in the pedestal. And he just floats there. Like some sort of crazy Zelda thing. Like you're running through A Link to the Past or something and you're like, Oh, it's on a pedestal! Grab it, doink! So you just right click to put it on, right click to put it off. And then you put uh, just a regular brick on each of these guys. And then we're gonna go like that. And then you put your Runic Matrix. And those are just temporary. We just put those there so that we can make the thing float over it. We actually don't want those there. You could use cobblestone or dirt if you wanted to, that'd be just fine. And then you wax your wand, and I don't know how much this takes. Boink! Oh my god, I had enough fees! Thank fucking god, that would have blown up my face and looked so terrible. Oh my god, I'm... For once I planned good. That took a lot of V's. Uh, 25 of each to do that. So, my a regular iron band wand would not have been enough. So good on me. Yay! And then I've already got this marked out with torches where I want each of these. So we're gonna put each of these around here. And... Um, I'm gonna sleep this night really quick. This is how I like to do it. I like to go with a circular fashion. You could put, like, most people like to do one here and one here, and then come over here and do, like, one here and one here, and that kind of thing, and put, like, but they really just have to be line of sight, so you can see across to the next one kind of thing. 
Uh, so that's really how that goes. I like to do circular thing because when you see infusion recipes in the book, like let's say for example the boots, it's kind of on the circle. So I like to kind of stick with a circle over here. That's just what I like to do. If that's not what you like to do, tough! That's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to come over here and uh, we are going to make just a really quick infusion thing just so you guys can see how it's done before I end this episode because I'm probably going to do a lot of this off camera. So. Uh, let's see if we wanted to make boots. I need a fish. Oh, shit. Where did I get a fucking fish from? Okay, we're not doing boots. I'll have to do those off camera because I don't have a fish. Um, not goggles. Not uh, Runic armor is crazy as hell. Gold armor. Scribing tools. I have a Ninetor Enchanted Cloth Amber. How do you make this Sailor's Mundus? That's what I need to know how to make. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, wait. Did it show me right there for a second? Is that... Return... Where did that take me? Is it in any eye? Say this. Say this. Yeah. Does it have a recipe? No. Alright, I'm gonna have to look that up. What else do I what else can I infusion craft really quick for you guys? Oh, golems! Oh, I haven't done shit with golems. Hungry chest. Straw golem. Uh, oh fuck. I am out of animus. God damn it! Okay, we'll make a straw golem, because why the fuck not? He has very low durability, very low strength, self-repair average, carry limit one, speed fast, which I think will do us just fine. We need hay bale. So let's go get some hay. Hey. Um, I think I have my barrels for my farm out here still. Yeah, I do. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's going to get us our hay bale. And I'm going to set up some jars in a minute here. Whoop! Hey, Bill! Okay. And then we're going to come over here. Oh, he's not... A, oh, shit. That's not an infusion recipe. That's just a crucible. Damn it! Alright, I'll have to show you guys next episode how to do the infusion crafting. In the meantime, I'm going to make some water jars. Just so you guys can see it. Um, it's an artifice. Warded, no, synthometer, alchemy, yes. Warded jars are not hard, it's one aqua, woo, an aqua. One aqua, and uh, seven glass panes, and a slab of any kind get you a jar. So these are inexpensive as fuck! So I'm going to line the walls over here with this. I'm seriously, like, it's going to be like, there'll be like a one space or a two space, I don't know. Maybe I'll start here, and we'll go dink to dink dink, dink to dink dink, all the way along the wall. I can't put torches because I don't have torches, because they don't stick on the walls. But yeah, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like jar, 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 and all the way across, and then all the way that way, and then the golem will manage it all for me. So that's gonna be happy news. And I will come back next episode. I'm gonna get oh shit, I'm gonna get everything together that I need in order to get some infusion crafting next episode. We got it all done though. Check this out. Here's your desktop for the evening. Amen. Hope you guys enjoy getting the uh, Thomcraft one. I'm gonna. This is gonna be part one of Thomcraft beginnings. Part two is gonna come next episode. I'm gonna do some more research off camera, upgrade my wand, and we are going to get some shit going on. Hope everybody had an OP time. Remember to like, favorite, follow, subscribe, uh, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and uh, Facebook. No, yeah, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook slash Rob the OP Gamer for each one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.